New at 11, a push to get pet parents to stop using a controversial tool for dog training. Petco now calling on the dog industry to help stop the shock. Tonight, local dog owners are reacting. One of the nation's largest pet store chains now pulling dog shock collars from store shelves. Oh, I think they're awful. Petco pulling the popular device widely used to correct bad dog behavior. <laughs> like barking, bolting, and aggression. Eli has had one, has worn one since he was probably two years old. I wouldn't be with that one. Shock collars typically use an electric current to send a signal to the dog with a sound, vibration, or shock. Petco's CEO saying in a statement, shock collars have been shown to increase fear, anxiety, and stress in dogs. And we believe there's a better way, positive reinforcement training. Atlanta dog owners offering mixed opinions on the decision. Does it really hurt them? It's just a safe thing to do in my opinion. Is negative feedback the best type of feedback, and I think with dogs it isn't. Petco says a recent survey of 1,000 dog parents reported 70% said they feel shock collars have a negative impact on their pet's emotional or mental well-being, and 69% consider shock collars a cruel training method. The company now calling on other pet stores and consumers to follow their lead and stop the shock. I wouldn't want somebody doing that to me. I'm not going to do it to them. And I think the responsibility, a lot of it's on the owners to put the time into training your dog properly.